Hey guys, uh, my name's Andy and I love um, helping young people make the most of technology. Um, you guys probably use heaps of it. Um, you use it to play games like Fortnite or other games that you're into. Um, and I'm just super interested in how you can use it to not just um, consume stuff, not to just use it, but how to um, make stuff with it. Um, so with this video series, so we've got six videos lined up for you. They're all going to be pretty short. Um, there'll be one that's a little bit long and we would get into what we're going to do and what we're going to do is we're going to make a game together and I'd love to show you um, and talk you through and help you figure out how to build a character how to build a world that that character lives in and then how to create a game um, and then part of all of that learning is how do we get people to be motivated and want to play your game um, so if you're thinking about your friends, your uncle, aunts, cousins, brother, sister, mum, dad and what is stuff that will make the people you want to play your game be more interested in playing your game? Um, and one of the things that you can help me with is by filling out the Google form form on the next slide. Um, and that will help me to learn more about what you know about games and what we, yeah, and just um, make sure that what we're doing here with these videos is helpful. Hey guys, it's me again, Andy, um, and in this short clip, we're going to look at how we can use story um, to help people understand and play our game better. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use a three-part storyboard um, that's going to take people, we're going to show you the journey of your character, and your character is what your player controls, and the purpose of this activity is to make a game that others want to play. Um, so what I've done is on this next slide, after this video, you can go onto the slide, you can come back to the video, fast forward, uh, rewind, um, go back to the place that I get to when I explain the activity. Um, but on the next slide, there'll be an activity. Um, there's a table with three parts to it. Um, and so you can either use that table or you can use Google Docs, Google Slides, another slide, you can use Google Drawings. You can do an image search on Google if you'd like. Um, to find pictures to match how you're going to answer these next questions. And so, to create a storyboard, I want you to think about the beginning, middle, and end of your game. Okay, so at the beginning, um, an example of a question would be, what does your character need to survive? Um, in the middle, you can think about how will your character get what they need to survive. Um, so we're going to be creating a simple game where your character chases um, an object around the screen for something of something that they need um, and then how does the game end what happens when your players win the game so if you can answer these questions after this video you'll be so far ahead along in the process of making your game awesome okay so an example of how I will answer these questions um, so I've got a character um, so when I was younger I used to uh, ride a scooter for Domino's and used to deliver pizzas um, and in order to survive to make money and pay rent or stay in the house that I was staying at I needed to work and my work was as a pizza delivery guy so I needed to get my pizza to um, the people who are delivering house um, and so my character in the game that I'm gonna make with you guys is gonna deliver pizza to different people's houses and that in turn will mean that he survives um, and so how does my character do this? Um, is it easy or challenging? Um, so I'll show you in the game how, you, how I can make it easier or challenging for the player. And maybe um, an extra video which I haven't planned yet will be how, how can you create levels um, in your game. So that would be awesome. Um, and then how does it end? Um, so I think for me my character and how my game will end is that my character needs to make um, $100 a day. So every pizza is going to cost something like eight dollars, so they're going to have to deliver enough pizzas before the time runs out in order to survive, live, pay his rent, and have food on his table. So that's an example of how I would use a storyboard um, using the questions that are in that that's in that table. Um, so yeah, so you can create a storyboard. You can rewind this video. Make sure you go back, go over my example, go over the questions um, to help you. Um, and yeah, if you need help or anything, uh, just leave a comment on your slide and um, we'll create a shared folder where I can jump in as well and help you out. Awesome. Um, good luck and all the best with your storyboard. Peace.
Okay guys, so in this video we are going to make a, um, we're going to design a character. Um, so you click the link in the slide that's taking you to arcade.makeco.com um, and then what I want to do is click on new project. So I'm clicking on new project. My one is about the pizza delivery guy. So I'm going to call it pizza boy and we're going to jump into our project. So there's a couple of ways you can have a character in make code arcade or arcade make code um, so you drop down to images um, you can pick a blank one which we'll get to soon or you can pick one that's already created um, and if you're creating a game for a first time or you want to just get on and make your game um, you might want to use one of these ones so you grab the burger and you can click click the drop down menu um, so like I said before I want to make a pizza delivery guy and this kind of looks like the pizza delivery guy. So I'm going to pick him um, and I'll just do a real quick thing and you can follow along if you want. I'm going to set my sprite to being this character and it's going to be a player and then what's real simple is I can use um, move my sprite so that's the name of him um, and he's going to be moved with button. So if you can see in the left side here I'm using the arrow keys and you can see them in here, you can see the arrow key that I'm pressing. It's moving. Awesome. So some of you might have created games in Scratch before um, and you can already see how powerful Make Code Arcade is. Now if you wanted to create your own character from Scratch, I would suggest clicking this one. And when you click into the grey box, you'll get this. And in the corner, you'll see 16 by 16. Um, one of the things that you can do or choose to do is to maybe um, is to use a Google spreadsheet um, and make even boxes that are 16 by 16 or do a table um, in a Google Doc that's 16 by 16. So across here is 16 squares. So one, two, three, four. So every time I go all the way to the end, it'll be 16 and it'll be 16 up. Um, so I'm going to get rid of those. I'm sorry about my computer pad. Um, we're gonna make we're gonna make a little character. Um, maybe put some legs. Um, so it's really up to you. Um, this is one of the parts I actually struggle with when it comes to creating games is the design. I really love all the other bits. I love thinking about the story which we've already talked about and I love thinking about how to engage and motivate people but quite often I need help with how to make it interesting, look interesting. Um, so this might be... I'm not sure I've got enough space for a head um, but we can make the head um, to be... Anyway, you get the idea. Um, I'll just I'll keep going for a little bit, and hopefully um, we get something interesting. Um, if you see me in videos, you'll know I've got a beard. Also, making a little kid, I could be doing something along those lines. <coughs> A little bit off. Um, maybe I'll use this camera. Um, maybe I need. I'm sure you guys will come up with amazing designs. Um, this is just my go at it. I'm trying to make this video as helpful and as quick as possible. Oh, you're starting to, a character is starting to form. And maybe we can make a little nose. And yeah, it's real tricky because maybe we can use a light colour. Not being good now. Um, we can colour this in. Awesome, he doesn't have any arms at the moment, but this is just to show you guys 
um, what the character character could look like. So I'm gonna grab out this little pizza guy and I'm gonna drop this one in. And what you'll see in the screen, maybe I shouldn't have used black. Um, but now I can control my character. Another thing I can do is we can go into scene and we can set background color for now. Um, can set the background color to something that's not black. Let's go with uh, maybe green. Now you can see the character. That's the character that we built. And it's moving around using the arrow keys. Awesome. Okay, if you need any help with this, uh, you can tag me in. You can tag me in your uh, slide. Um, if you want some help on creating characters in Make Code, um, maybe someone who's got a little bit more skill, you could do a Google search of um, creating character in arcade.makecode. Um, but for now, that is where we're up to. Um, you've thought about your storyboard, you've thought about your character, um, and now you're creating that character. Awesome. I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you answer the questions and things on the slide after this one. Um, it all helps, and you can see already now how, um, you know, starting off with the big picture, the big story, and now coming down into our character and their motivation, why it's important that we do the little tasks, because it helps make our decisions easier um, when we go to design our game. Hey guys, so um, in this video, it might be a little bit longer, um, but we're going to create our game. Um, so I already have my character, and yeah, we're going to get stuck into it. Um, so one of the things I want to remind you is that you can use, um, you can uh, rewind and fast forward this video. Um, so if you get stuck in a space or you need, or you need something to be explained again, um, one of the things I wanted to try is to go back in the video and play that part again. or um, have your screen open and try and follow exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do um, is that we're going to create a scene. Um, so we need to click on scene and then we are going to set background to color. I'm going to drop that in here and you can obviously pick your own color um, and the one I'm going to use is green. I used that in the last video and then so yeah, now you've got a green background. Um, the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to open sprites. Uh, I'm going to set my sprite, which is the name um, of my little character. I can change this. I can rename the variable. I'm going to call him Pizza Boy. So if you want to give your character a name, and then we're gonna I'm going to drop in my little character. Um, so we've got him there. Got this funny little beard, which you might have seen of me in the video. I got a beard. Um, it's awesome. And a thing that is good to know is that we're going to set our player, our kind. We're going to set our sprite, and he's going to be a player. And what you can see further down here is that you can have enemy, you can have food, and you can even have projectile. But we're going to look at projectile and enemy, and perhaps a follow-up um, series of these kinds of slides. Um, the next thing that I want to do is I want to be able to move my character. So I'm going to have move my sprite with buttons. But what's important is if I... So on here... Oh yeah, so it's automatically changed to Pizza Boy. But if it was a different name... Um, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be. So you can test it by clicking onto the screen and then moving, moving the player. Awesome! Um, the next thing that we want to do is we want to, we want to create, um, we're going to set our food. Okay, so you'll remember that we found, I don't want to do this one. Um, I'm going to use one that's already existing. Um, and I've got the burger here that I want to pick. I don't know if you remember. Yeah. I want to pick the pizza. I might pick this one because it sort of suits um, the look of what we're trying to do. Um, and I'm going to rename this variable to pizza. Awesome. And 
Remember the drop down over here? We're gonna say pizza. It's food. So we know the pizza. Whenever pizza boy. Here's some food. Okay. Um he's he's gonna make the money he needs. Remember the story I told you about pizza boy needing to make money um in order to survive. So we're gonna have we're gonna see this one over here, overlaps on sprite of kind player. When a player overlaps with food. This. I'm gonna pick food. When that overlap, we can change. We're gonna go into info. We're gonna change the score by one. Um, actually, if you remember in the story, I said it would be eight dollars a pizza, but I worked at Domino, so we're gonna go five dollars a pizza. So this game is a story about my life. Um, <clears throat> and then what we want to do. We want to so what you can see now at the in the top corner because the pizza um, and pizza boy and pizza were overlapping. I kept counting the score. Um, but now what we want to do is we want to set the sprite position, and we are Pizza. And then what we want to do is we're going to use some maths. Okay, and we want to pick random. So we're going to go random in the x coordinates, which is going this way. And then we also want to pick random in the y coordinate, which is going up and down. And what that's going to help us do is every time. Um, every time Pizza Boy gets his pizza, um, the score will change by five, and then the pizza is going to go to a new place. Um, and the next thing that we want to do is we want to be able to change. This is the size of the screen that we're playing on. And then, yeah, to make it um, a bit more fun, um, or to add challenge. Remember, we talked about adding challenge. We're going to start a countdown um, of 10 seconds. And so, and you can change this number to any one that you like. And I'm going to maybe pick. I'm going to pick three seconds. So what that means is that if I don't get it in three. Oh no. Um, it's game over. Okay, so and then I can click this little reset button. Now I gotta get pizza. Now you can see we've created a challenging game. But there's some things missing, and I think what's missing. So even though we have um, that sound going, um, we can. When there's an overlap of sprite, we can maybe let's see if we can add some music. Play. Um, let's stick with. Let's see, let's see this way. Where'd the pizza go? No. So by adding that little bit of sound, and I think there's different sounds, we can go to the same one. Okay, and awesome. you can play with those different sounds. Um, so, so, that so that's your really, really simple game. Um, I'm going to stop the video here. We don't want it to be too long. Um, so remember, you were thinking about your character. 
you're thinking about what they need and also thinking about how they are successful. So one thing um, that I'm still learning about um, is um, is how to set a target goal score. Um, but we can try something. Oh yeah, we can only with this guy. Um, you can set your set. Okay. So if you don't get it, oh no, I think that's for when we introduce um, an enemy, which we can do in another video. Awesome, I hope you enjoyed that video, and um, we'll see you next time. Okay guys, um, I want to talk real quickly about what coders and programmers call debugging. So debugging is when um, you notice that your game's not quite running how you want it to run, um, but you're trying to figure out how to fix it. Okay, so the first part of debugging is figuring out what is the piece that you want to fix. What is the part that's not working how you want it to work? There's a couple things that I do. Um, the main one is actually to do a Google if I can, um, if I know the words that I want to do. So, for example, with um, with my game, um, one of my next steps is to create an enemy, so have maybe a ghost character chasing my pizza boy um, around the screen and uh, trying to stop him from getting the pizza. So the things I need to figure out is um, how to create an enemy and then two, how to maybe create some lives for pizza boy so the game doesn't just end when the enemy catches him. Um, so yeah, so I would start with doing a Google. Has someone done that before? Probably. Have they put it online? Maybe. Um, and then yeah, if I find the answer, that's awesome. I can move on. I can uh, maybe I can then look at my background. Um, but for example, if your character is not moving, um, are you using the right key? So what's happening? What would I like to have happen? And then where can I find answers for it? Um, and because yeah, most of us are just starting out with with coding, that's where I'll leave it. Um, so what do you want to have happen? Um, has anyone else done it? So you can use Google, um, or you can use the Make Code website, um, and then also. Um, how will I know when it works? Okay, I um, hope that was helpful. Um, we've got one more video, um, so I'll see you very soon. Um, so a couple things, um, or maybe it's just one thing. But one thing I'd really love to see is um, your guys, your games, and I'd love to play them, and I'd love to give you some feedback. Um, I'd love to build some more games for myself and get you guys to play it. Um, so one thing um, that we'll do is. I'll create a Google form um, and you can put the link to your game um, into that Google form and then I'll be able to find it and it will pop up for me um, and I'll get a chance to play it. Um, I hope you guys learned something, I hope you had fun um, and I can't wait to keep sharing more stuff with you guys. Um, but until next time, see ya. In Make Code Arcade. Um, there are all these tutorials here that you can do. Um, so with the videos that I've made, um, it essentially helps you make Chase the Pizza. Um, but for your ones, you can pick one of these and follow along. So I'll show you, for example, if you wanted to create a maze game, um, you click on the maze, click Start Tutorial, and it will help you by showing you what to do up here. And if you click on the image, it will show you what block you need. And the colors is really important. That's what you need to look at to know where that block is found. So for example, on start, that would be found in the green one, but it's already there. And then we got set my sprite. See, that's a tricky one. Oh, so over here it says find set my sprite and sprites. So you'll go in there, set my sprite. Click it in, awesome. So I just want you to yeah have a look, have a play with those tutorials once you've done the other one. Um, and I look forward to seeing what games you make. Awesome guys. <laughs>